Thanks, Tom. Just a moment, Daniel. I'm taking care of some important business documents. Okay, okay. I'll wait, I'll wait. Send. What's that, Dan? So, what the farage is of scale length and uh, why is it important? Well, it's a very important question. Scale lengths. All right, so let's, uh, let's, let's see here. So scale length is the, uh, the length of the string. So it's the distance, we, we take all tangly tanglewood here, is the distance between the nut and the saddle. That's the length, the length of the string. And um, there's a lot to think about with scale length. Um, it affects the tension of the string uh, and therefore how the guitar uh, feels to play. And it's important to think about scale length when um, designing your guitar. Um, you want a proportional scale length. So you want the, the length of the neck to be proportional to the size of the instrument. So let's Let's have a look at this one, for example. So this is a Dreadnought style guitar, and the scale length is 660 millimeters, um, or in, in old money, it's 26 inches, um, which is actually quite a, quite a, a long um, scale length. It's a Dreadnought style guitar, got a long neck. Proportionally, everything looks right. This is strung with um, light gauge strings, so with uh, 12s, so this is a, 12 gauge on the on the bottom here and um, a 53 gauge for the for the low E. So for my guitars, I have I have three three models. We have the model S. Yep. This has a scale length of 24 and three quarters inches. So this is my small guitar. We have the Model M, which has a scale length of 25 inches. And we have the Model L, which is my Dreadnought style guitar, and that has a scale length of, oh, combining decimal and fraction there, 25 and a half inches. Cool. So three di the things to con that I'm considering uh, with scale length so for my Model S guitar, with it being a smaller instrument, I want to have a slightly shorter neck so that it's in keeping with the size of the guitar body. I also wanted to have a guitar that was very, very comfortable to play. So if all other things being equal, if we, if we have a, pair, a set of light gauge strings, if you shorten that string, shorten the scale length, you are gonna have a string which has got more give to it. It's not gonna have as much tension. So a longer string requires more tension at a given pitch if the string gauge is the same. If you wanted to, so for example, with the, with the Model L, which has got a 25 uh, and a half inch scale, the string is lengthened. I'm still using those light gauge strings, still using the 53, um, on the top there, because the string is longer, it's gonna have more tension. What that means is that quite often with my larger guitars, with my Model L, if you wanna down tune to like open C tunings, when you down tune that string, because it's got that extra length, it means that when you're down in C, the string isn't really, really floppy. So a good kind of illustration of, of kind of how that works is if we've, we've looked at this um, acoustic guitar, which has got the 26 inch scale and it's got a 53 uh, gauge low E string. This is my bass guitar. The neck is obviously much longer. The scale length on this is 870 millimeters or where the saddle hits there it's 35 and a, 34 and a half inches so 34 standard 34 inch scale so the two things that you'll that you think about here is that this is obviously an e an octave lower than this one we've got a much heavier gauge string i think this is a 45 
45. So that's a, that is a hundred thou. That is a hundred gauge string. So longer string, lower note, thicker string. Um, does that make sense so far? Yeah. Actually, okay. let's let's talk about fan fret guitars. Okay. Uh, or multi scale guitars. So guitars that have um, you've you've probably seen me do them before. The the fan fret arrangement. And what is going on there is those are guitars that are, they have a different scale length along the neck. So on your, on your low string, you've got a longer scale length. So, so it's on my Model M, I think I do 26. And then on the high string, I do a, a 25 inch scale. And that gives the um, impression or the look of the, of the frets being fanned as opposed to being um, perpendicular um, to the center line of the guitar. Make sense? Absolutely, yeah. Wicked sick. Can I go back to my work? Uh, yeah, you better get sending those, those uh, emails. Gotta do my important business documents, Dan. Yeah, yeah, tax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out this episode of Live Theory WTF. If you've got a question, if you've got a topic that you'd like to know more about, drop us a suggestion in the comments below and we'll get to it next week. See ya.